Thou still unravished bride of quietness, thou foster child of silence and slow time, sylvan historian, who canst thus express a flowery tale more sweetly than our rhyme. What leaf-fringed legend haunts about thy shape of deities or mortals or of both, in Tempe or the dales of Arcady? What men or gods are these? What maidens loath? What mad pursuit? What struggle to escape? What pipes and timbrels? What wild ecstasy? Heard melodies are sweet, but those unheard are sweeter. Therefore ye soft pipes play on, not to the sensual ear, but more endeared pipe to the spirit, ditties of no tone. Fair youth, beneath the trees thou canst not leave thy song nor ever can those trees be bare. Bold lover, never, never canst thou kiss, though winning near the goal. Yet do not grieve. She cannot fade, though thou hast not thy bliss. Forever wilt thou love, and she be fair. Ah, happy, happy boughs, that cannot shed your leaves, nor ever bid the spring adieu. And happy melodist, unwearied, forever piping songs, forever new. More happy love, more happy, happy love, forever warm and still to be enjoyed, forever panting and forever young, all breathing human passion far above that leaves a heart high sorrowful and cloyed, a burning forehead and a parching tongue. Who are these coming to the sacrifice? To what green altar, O oh mysterious priest, Leadst thou that heifer lowing at the skies and all her silken flanks with garlands dressed? What little town by river or seashore or mountain built with peaceful citadel is emptied of its folk this pious morn? And little town, thy streets forevermore will silent be and not a soul to tell why thou art desolate can e'er return. O attic shape, fair attitude, with breed of marble men and maidens overwrought. With forest branches and the trodden weed, thou silent form dost tease us out of thought as doth eternity, cold pastoral. When old age shall this generation waste, thou shalt remain in midst of other woe than ours, a friend to man to whom thou sayest, beauty is truth, truth beauty. That is all ye know on earth, and all ye need to know. The grey sea and the long black land, and the yellow half moon large and low, and the little startled waves that leap in fiery ringlets from their sleep, as I gain the cove with pushing prow and quench its speed in the slushy sand. Then a mile of warm sea-scented beach, three fields to cross till a farm appears. A tap at the pane, the quick sharp scratch and blue spurt of a lighted match, and a voice less loud through its joys and fears than the two hearts beating each to each. <laughs> And evening star and one clear call for me and may there be no moaning of the bar when I put out to sea but such a tide as moving seems asleep too full for sound and foam when that which drew from out the boundless deep turns again home twilight and evening bell and after that the dark and may there be no sadness of farewell when I embark. For though from out our bourne of time and place, the flood may bear me far, I hope to see my pilot face to face when I have crossed the bar. <laughs> 